Okay, in this video, I wanted to make a video about one of these snapshot cartridges. And if you don't know what a snapshot cartridge was, uh, you would load a game in the memory, and after the game was loading, you would take a snapshot of the memory. And what this did is that most games checked copy protection while it was loading. And so if you took a snapshot after it loads, you could bypass the copy protection. Some of these are super rare. Like this one here, capture cartridge, um, code busters. These were like really early ones. And also, Ice Pick was one of the was one of the first one I bought. There's a reproduction. This is a reproduction, but this is the original Ice Pick which I bought back in the '80s. Here, so you can tell the difference from the case that they're in. The original and a 3D printed case. Otherwise, I wish they would have put on the label that it was um, a replica, but this is the original ice pick. So this video, also a reproduction of the uh, Super Snapshot version 5, I version 3, version 4. So this is Snapshot version 5, version 4, at version 3, somewhere I couldn't find it. So what should we do? Action Replay or Super Snapshot in this video? Post below if you'd like to see me um, using one of these cartridges. Something that was even better with these cartridges, that you know, you could hit the button and get into the machine language code if you knew machine language. But uh, games like uh, Kung Fu Master, Pole Position, Tapper, Zaxxon, Pac-Man, Pac Pac they were a one load game. So after they got done loading, they never went back to the disc. So which was ideal for for a copier like this. And like I said, it had ice pick in the, back in the day. Uh, places used to rent video games or we would buy them copy them, and then return them to the store usually toys r us <laughs> was a um was didn't ask too many questions about that but anyway so let's just use one of these games because they're a single load game we're gonna call these a single load game i should do uh, action replay on this one so you can check out my commodore 64 copy protection blog link i put down here for some of the ads the action replay cartridge has some really cool ads and uh, I put it here. I'll zoom in here I'll come in post so you can see some of the cool stuff in the ads. All right, let's go plug this cartridge in. Well, this is version 6, I should say. And there's two buttons. Uh, this one here is a reset, and this one here is like the snapshot button. Not labeled. They're not labeled, but it's not hard to figure that out. So when you first plug the cartridge in, this is the screen. Uh, let's check out the utilities. You want to have a blank formatted disk so you'd go to F5 and you'd be ready for a formatted disk. But I have plenty ready. I have installed the fast loader. Now, Kung Fu Masters copy protection is, let me look here on my notes. It checks a signature on track 17. That is it. I, I was watching the uh, the tracker here. It hit track 17 right before this screen here. Just the game is done loading. I hit this button over here. It brings up this important screen here. This is cool. This is where you like pokes to uh, edit the memory. You can enter it here, which is great. Uh, we can view the sprites. We can do that later. Sprite color. We can turn on a sprite. We do all kinds of cool stuff in the memory here. The uh, the monitor. But let's do F1. Back up. And we got three choices. We're gonna do A, B, or C. Change the disc. around this tripod and for this one let's just do the standard it's nice this tells you how many blocks it's gonna have so standard we'll just put in a name kung fu hit return and let us do its thing and typical Commodore 64 fashion that took two or three minutes to save it says it's okay though let's hit a key let's look at the directory here 
There you go, 202 blocks. And uh, let's go ahead and reboot this. And let me hit reset. And let's do a fast load. And let's load this game, see if we defeated the copy protection. There you go. It just loaded past the copy protection. Can we play a game? Yes, we can play a game. Let me uh, go ahead and jump into the, um, hit this button. Let's go and see if we can view the sprites. Hit V. What does this do? All right, all right. It, oh, how cool is that? Well, here we go. Oh, it's got the multicolor. Look at that. Look at all these cool graphics in here. That is cool. Quite out of this. Let's enter a poke. I found a poke online. That was supposed to give us unlimited lives. I don't know if it will. Let's see. One, two, eight. Will this do anything? I don't know. How many lives do we have? Let's go see. Okay, we're gonna need to get killed here to test this. Oh. Okay. Oh, right, right here. Now we have unlimited. Check this out. That poke did work. We have unlimited lives right there. We don't have unlimited time though. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. I hate games where you scroll to the left. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Let's jump back in the cartridge. So this worked really good. We can uh, do a sprite killer here. I don't know. I don't know what we just killed, but uh, we go. Look at the memory right here. So cool. Really cool cartridge. Guys, post in the comments below. What do you think? Did you have a snapshot cartridge? And um, watch part two. We're going to do Super Snapshot next. So thanks for watching.